Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, stay a while. If you are not new, thank you guys so much for coming back. Currently, it is January, aka I am still on break. I might as well do another dorm tour. This year, I am actually in a double suite rather than a single suite from last year. And I saw that I got over a thousand views on that video. I'm really proud of Thank you guys so much for watching. So I thought might as well do a double tour. Majority of people get double rooms anyway. So I thought, let me put my experience and what I know about West Campus Village out there. Again, for New Jersey City University, I believe there's two other residence halls. So I'm not gonna cover like Vajra Hall and Co-op Hall because I'm not familiar with like what they offer and stuff. But as far as West Campus Village, and this is my second year residing here in this building, um, I'm just gonna show you guys like what I know and all the, most of the amenities the building has to offer. So stay tuned for that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram at BlueberryRaz. That is again where I am most active. I would really appreciate it if you would give me a follow. Uh, so I guess let's get into this dorm tour. So let's get started. Right when you walk in, I would like to call it like a pantry station where if you don't have enough space in your room, there is an adequate amount of space for four people to put their food or extra things. I put my kettle there. You can see at the bottom my roommate put her cleaning some of her cleaning supplies there um, actually in that cubby hole where the outlet is you can put a small refrigerator if you do not wish to have your fridge in your room i know some fridges make a lot of noise so i don't blame you moving on to the sink station ideally two people per sink at the bottom of the sinks you also have extra space you could put like a, tra a little mini trash can as you can see or some more cleaning supplies, more supplies for extra storage, extra space. Each person gets their own drawer. The drawers are pretty deep, so you could put quite a few stuff in there. Moving on, you have the toilet room, which is pretty straightforward. And just to point out, all of the doors have locks on them, so I thought that was a really good thing. Since for right now, since room B was vacant, I thought it would be good to show you guys what room B would look like. What I've noticed is that room B would be more square like and room a would be more rectangular like i'll show you when i show me and my roommate's room coming back you have the living room pretty straightforward also really quick to point out the ceilings are really high so if you're really tall don't worry about it you're fine this is a quick look of the thermostat again pretty easy to use pretty straightforward next you have the shower room each person gets their own rack, so that's cool. You have, there's enough space in here for everyone to put their stuff in their corner, or if you want to put an organizer, you can, or in the shower, you can put an organizer, you can. So there's different ways how you can like customize the shower to satisfy everyone's needs. Entering into my roommate and I's room, I don't know if you can tell right away, but this room is much bigger than room B. Um, from what I've noticed is room B would be more square-like and room A would be more rectangular-like. Just to point that out, but here is a overview of my room. Pretty straightforward, nothing crazy. 
quick look-see inside of my fridge. I don't really need a big fridge, just a nice small fridge. Now, if you get a fridge like that size, you can actually fit it in that small cubby hole earlier in the tour. Just some cleaning supplies and sanitary products and bottles of water at the bottom. The drawers are pretty deep, so you could put an adequate amount of clothes in there, so don't worry about not having enough space. I honestly feel like for one person, for their own closet and their own drawer space, you'll have enough space for clothes. For our room, our closets are right next to each other, which isn't a problem, but I feel like for some, it could be a problem because you kind of got to go on the other person's side. For me and my roommate, it's not that serious, you know, just quick go inside the closet. The layout of my towels, my clothes, my shoes, there's enough space for everything. Heading into the second floor elevator lobby. This is a quick view of the common area, I would call it. People come here to like, you know, do dance battles and just have fun and just socialize and play catch and stuff like that. Just to get some fresh air, so I thought that was really cool. The community room on the second floor, which just a disclaimer, you cannot have a microwave in your room. So what they did is for the second and first floor, the second floor in this room has that one little microwave you saw in the corner and downstairs there are two microwaves you can use. Also in this room, this is where the community fridge is. So if you don't have a fridge or can't afford a fridge, that's fine. There is a community fridge you can use, but use it at your own leisure. There are quite a few vending machines in here, so if you want a snack or a quick drink, you have access to that. And again, if you don't want to like eat in your dorm, you can eat here and just hang out mostly. Elevator. The elevator has access to all four floors. So if you have something heavy and you're on the fourth floor, don't worry, you have an elevator. There are two elevators in this building. So quick view from the first floor, quick view of the main lobby. There's also a water filtration system, so if you want to fill up your Brita water or any other filtration, water, bottle, kettle, whatever, to the laundry room. The laundry room is pretty decently sized. I really like the laundry room and how accessible it is. I highly recommend do not wash your clothes on Monday or Friday because that's where everybody's washing their clothes. <laughs> Um, I learned that the hard way, so I'm saving you time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a lot of settings on the washing machine, so it can vary from like 30 to 46 minutes, depending on, you know, whether it's hot or cold or whether you're washing delicates, etc. Um, the dryers are the same thing. They have different temperatures you can use to dry your clothes. Again, if you have delicates or anything, so don't worry about that, having it like at a default setting. Quick view. Uh, I thought this was really cool. If you have an instrument you're practicing on or anything, there they have separate rooms where you can go and practice little private rooms game room you have the first out of the two microwaves on the first floor and just overall lounge area heading on to the other side you have a pool table and the other microwave there's also vending machines down here so if you are on the first floor you don't have to go to the second floor but i prefer the second floor vending machines in my opinion the stairwell, this again, the stairwell leads to all four floors. So if you wish to take the stairs instead of the elevators, that is fine. This is the second floor trash rooms. All trash rooms are on each floor. So you could just come around and take your trash, put it in the trash room. They empty the trash every day. The third floor, as what I know, doesn't have anything. But heading to the fourth floor, this is the view of the fourth floor of the common area. And this is the fitness room. I thought this was really cool. They have a fitness room in the dorm building. It's nothing crazy, but I thought it was a nice amenity to have if you wake up in the morning and don't wish to work out in your room or don't want to go to a local gym or the fitness center of the campus, then you could just go to the fourth floor and get your workouts in. One final thing to point out, you have to have key card access to get into the dorm building as well as to get into your suite and you will get a physical key to have access to your actual room. 
So if you do not wish to have your dorm room unlocked at all times, then you will have access to your physical key to unlock and lock your room door as you please. Okay, so that is the end of the video that concludes the dorm tour. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you haven't already, please follow me at Booby Rest. That is where I am most active. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.